Am I one of the cool kids now? Hey everybody, Jay Allen here. Welcome back to the channel. So I was in a band for a couple years, but I played bass. And uh, this summer I left that band and now I'm in a new band where I'm playing uh, guitar, rhythm guitar and singing and a little bit of lead. So um, I've had amplifiers, you know, I did the review on the PV, uh, that little PV Rage amplifier. And I did a review on the Spark Live, which is a really cool amplifier, but it, it was pretty big and it uh, had a lot of features that I didn't think I would need. And then I did a review on the Marshall Origin uh, 20 watt tube amp head that I paired uh, with a cabinet. That's a lot of stuff to haul around uh, when you're playing a gig. And on top of that, I'm also the sound guy, so I have to drag all of the sound equipment along with me. So what I decided to do was get a pedal and uh, then I can run directly into uh, the mixer. We use in-ear monitors so I don't really need to worry about uh, flat response speaker or all that type of stuff. I uh, can just go right into the mixer, uh, hear the monitor mix in my uh, ear phones and should be good to go. So there's a ton of multi effects pedals available. Uh, you got brands like Boss and Moore and Flama, Zoom, the Donner Arena 2000. I actually had one of those, uh, did a review on it, thought it was a decent pedal. And uh, let's see, we got Line 6, what else is on here? And of course, the favorite Headrush MX Five. Now these are pedals sort of in the $300 to $400 price range. You know, we're not talking about Axe Effect or Kempers or any of that type of thing. What I ended up with was this here. This is the Veilton GP200. Just bought it from Amazon, bought it with my own money. This is not a sponsored review. Doesn't necessarily mean that my reviews are any more honest or accurate than anybody else's, but whatever. Your mileage may vary. Anyway, I thought this was kind of cool. Got it from Amazon just, I don't know, a few hours ago. Um, so I am opening it up for the first time with you here on camera. So, and Okay, so it comes with a user guide, quick user guide. And this is, holy cow, this is all the, all the stuff on it. Uh, there's lots. This is probably going to be one of those things that uh, has way more features than, than you need. So it comes, of course, with the USB cable, because I think you can use it as an audio interface as well. Uh, power cord, of course, and the pedal itself. Um, it's heavy. It's really heavy. So, and I think Veilton, I've never heard of them before. Uh, pretty sure it's probably an inexpensive uh, Chinese, wow, Chinese brand. Um, like the Moore and, you know, those types of things. Okay, so, there it is. Okay, so let's talk about it real quick uh, before we plug it in. It is metal, which is cool. It's very heavy. Uh, the pedal feels pretty good. And then right off the bat, what I notice is the back buttons are taller than the front buttons. That's a really good idea. And then it's got a ton of buttons on the front and then on the back. You, you have a effects loop, which is kind of interesting. You'd think that all your effects would be in here, but uh, you can do a, a separate expression pedal. You can do a 3.5 millimeter aux input. It has a ground lift button, um, unbalanced output, quarter inch, and then a balanced left and right XLR, which that's kind of nice. And then a headphone, mini headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and then standard MIDI in and out. Uh, and then it's got a power button, of course, which is great. And then a, a, a USB-C plug. 
and then tons of knobs and it's really built really nice these are stepper knobs they've got you know they click 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 that's interesting volume gain presence bass middle treble that must be for your amp models obviously parameter master uh oh it's got drum drum kit and then these pedal these buttons here control your different parameters reverb delay mod eq cabinet amp distortion wah and preamp tuner looper um preset up and down or bank or whatever you want to call it so let's stop talking and get to playing so got everything all set up on the floor here uh this is sort of a straight out of the box type review um i haven't played around with it at all so this is going to be probably pretty <laughs> kind of all over the place so bear with me so turn the power on oh that's nice it's got a really nice l lcd display there you go so you've got your your different buttons and then the bank up and okay there you go there's your bank up and down there we go obviously i'm gonna have to look at the the thing here okay so let's see Getting started, connect, turn the knob all the way up, tune your strings, okay, select a patch. Let me pause everything, look some stuff up on the internet, and then we'll get to some sound samples. Okay, I'm back. Uh, did a little bit of playing around with this. You can completely program, reprogram the foot switches to your liking so let's uh, go over this real quick so when you turn it on the, the sort of the factory default at least that's how it was when i turned it on here is that you're in sort of this bank mode where you switch between these banks and then each of these individual buttons here select a b c so you're in bank one and then you've got uh selection a b c d bank one could be a certain song and then a b c d were certain tones that you wanted within that song maybe b is your solo tone a is your rhythm tone or whatever but what i was trying to do is create a preset that had all that had the tone that I want the amp the model all that stuff so that my tone was set and then I could bring in individual effects like chorus or delay or distortion or whatever boost you know okay so in so you can do that so there's tons of <laughs> different modes on this thing it's pretty pretty amazing so if you go to global and you go to you, you use the wheel here to tog, to wheel over to foot switch you've got three different options for foot switch you can either either use the patch mode which is the mode that it's in whereas where if you select up and down with the the bank buttons it changes the bank and then a b c d are the uh options within that bank if that makes sense uh, and then you can choose stomp and stomp is sort of the one that I was looking for where you can change patches with these buttons here and then these buttons now are control buttons and then they control individual effects on and off then to further complicate things if you switch over to user you've got a completely blank slate and you can program every single one of these buttons you can uh, program it for a single press or a long press so it's tap or hold for foot switch one two three foot switch five six seven eight same thing and then you can even uh, control if you press foot switch one and five at the same time or five and six at the same time 
or 6 and 7 or 7 and 8. So it does uh, button, you know, pairing so that you can control it even further. Uh, so I'm not going to mess with that because that is, I mean, that's going to be useful, but not, <laughs> not at the moment. So I'm going to choose this stomp so at least you can see what that's all about. So you choose that, then you back out. Okay, so now you want to change your patch. So we want to get back to 50s Plexi. Um, so then this still changes the patch. Okay, so then let's get back to 50s Plexi. And then, so now control button controls certain things. So this one now, if you can see that little pre, see there's a distortion, there's pre. Uh, so this is turning on the preamp, sort of like a, and then you can see the button here. See, these are all the soft keys for the different, uh, the different effects. So if you go to pre, this is this preamp, and you can see, you know, like if you wanted to turn it into a compressor, you choose that, and then here's your, your settings for the compressor. And now you've got that compressor. And it even says current effect, S comp, on or off. Okay. And then this one controls the distortion. And then this button, so you can see it light up, see? And then if you hit the distortion, then that's where you can select the type of distortion you want. Uh, let's try Timmy Overdrive. And that'll turn it on and off. And then, let's see, C is program for the mod button. Uh, so like your, let's see, mod is here. So you can do chorus, B chorus, C chorus. And then these knobs, of course, control your, your different parameters on, on the chorus. Uh, let's see. And then this button here, so you can see that little button is dark. And when you switch over, it's like a page button. And sync is on or off. That must sync to the um, tap tempo. Okay, so then, and then D is a delay. Okay. All right, so that's definitely what I was, what I was after. So, and then obviously, and then here is your, your volume control for your, see, this is sort of your amplifier uh, section. So you got your bass, middle, treble, presence, gain, and then master volume. And then your foot pedal is uh, program right now for volume. Okay, so I got this hooked up to my SG, uh, Epiphone SG, inspired by Gibson 61 that I did a review on a little while ago. And uh, I believe it has tuner, yep, hold for tuner. There's your tuner. Nice big display for guys like me with bad eyesight. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, if you press that again, then you're out of it. Okay, so then you can, like I said, you can change. That's just a preamp, so it's a minor. So there's your distortion. So then this was the, that was the mod. It's like a phaser type thing. And then this was delay. So it's kind of set to a slap back. 
And then your <laughs> drums. Okay. Anyway, that so that is exactly what I what I wanted. Um, so it obviously does a ton more than I necessarily need for just just a band. This pedal really deserves uh, a deep dive. Um, this is, it's pretty complex. Um, let me see if I can at least just go through some of the patches so you can kind of hear some of the tones. I've never used a wah, really, so... Ooh, there you go. Nice. So as you can see, now this A button is the distortion. So you can move, you can change which buttons affect which uh, effect. <laughs> and so the red ring means it's activated the yellow ring i wonder if you can change the colors that'd be cool because then i'd make when it's active, I'd make it green, and when it's not on, I'd make it red. seems pretty pretty responsive uh
remember it it does stereo out so uh your effects i'm mean, right now i'm running mono into the audio interface so it, it does stereo out so you probably have uh like ping pong and and stereo widening and when the chorus is on it's probably a wide sound so that's something to think about <laughs> go that's uh uh the tones on it seem pretty good i mean i don't i don't have a problem with that anyway that's a cool pedal uh check it out the valton gp 200 there there you go that's my uh quick <laughs> not really quick but my quick review on the valton gp 200 multi-effects pedal uh check it out uh stay tuned for some more uh video content on this pedal and other uh, guitar related gear uh, thanks for tuning in if you haven't subscribed please do so Jace Allen Jace Allen guitar thanks for watching <laughs>